Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the circuit experience for Laguna Seca and how to get a relatively easy gold medal for it. So while the video is going through its individual sectors I'll just give you some hints and tips uh, to make this easier. So the individual sectors don't seem too bad on their own, um, you can do them quite easily. The problem seems to be putting it all together in one lap. Um, one of the mistakes I am making here is running traction control, you want to run none at all. It's also essential pretty much that you run a manual transmission. Okay, so after my general tips I'm going to give you some tips on the car you which is a Group 4 Dodge Viper. It has a really long um, gear ratio, so you don't need to short shift this car, you can let the gears run as long as possible. Also notice you can stay in a lot higher gear than you think you originally can. This obviously uh, reduces the amount of gear changes you're doing per lap. Obviously if you're changing gears, you know, middle of the corner you're going to upset the balance of the car. Okay, so now some tips for the track itself. The main corner you're going to want to watch out for is the port screen, which you can see here. This corner is essentially make or break for your run. It can really just completely ruin any lap time you've got. Another thing to note is the inside of the curbs on this track have really big sausage curbs. If you hit them, it's pretty much game over. It's going to thumb your car into the gravel traps. So with all the uh, extra tips and tricks I can really give you for this circuit experience out of the way, we'll finally get on to a walkthrough of my gold lap. Okay, so onto the walkthrough of my lap. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to be accelerating up to fifth gear for a short amount of time. You're then going to want to use the marker boards on your right as a sign to brake. Get the car into second gear and stay as close to these curves as possible. Pull throttle out. Keep it in third, using them long gears. Accelerate back again. Just want to keep your eye out on the curves. Don't run it too much, right? You'll get the sausage curve. Accelerate into fourth. You then want to keep the car in fourth gear until this corner where you're going to downshift into third using them long gears. You can uh, stay in quite a high gear for all the corners. Then just watching the inside of the curves here, you can pretty much keep it in fourth. I did try third a few times, but I ended up in the gravel. So coming up here is the hardest part of the track, the port screw at the top. You're just going to brake as hard as you can into second over the curve and then sort of line it so you go straight over the other curve as well. Keep the car in third through here, just watching that curve because that one can catch you out. Then back into third for here, nice and smooth. Come up to the final corner, hard brake. Put the car in second and then accelerate all the way to the finish line. And that is going to be your gold lap guide for the Laguna Seca circuit experience. If you like this video, I make these kind of guides every day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers guys.